Well, one out of every 100 people lives with schizophrenia. Nearly three out of 100 live with serious bipolar disorder. So it's likely that everyone knows someone who is affected. And our next guest organization believes that every person living with a schizophrenia-related brain disorder deserves treatment. And joining us now from Schizophrenia and Related Disorders Alliance of America is Executive Director Linda Stolzers. Linda, please help us understand what is schizophrenia as we understand it today? Schizophrenia is a brain illness, a neurocircuitry disorder due to a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Naturally, we are born with a certain number of neurosynapses in our brain, and they increase until adolescence, and there's a natural pruning. But with schizophrenia and other psychotic disorders, there's a genetic overpruning which causes changes in the developing brain, and they can produce symptoms such as hallucinations, delusions, thought disorders, and many other symptoms. They can be experienced early in, in childhood, but often they aren't evident until adolescence or early adulthood. Individuals with family members who have schizophrenia are at risk, but it does not mean that you are destined to have it. Are these disorders treatable? Absolutely, schizophrenia is treatable, as is schizoaffective disorder and bipolar disorder. Early intervention is powerful in helping people to recover. And ongoing comprehensive treatment is most successful, which includes psychoeducation and support for the individual and their family, psychotherapy, medication management geared to individuals' needs, case management, and worker education support, depending on the individual's preferences. The tragedy is that our current approach is to incarcerate our brothers and sisters as facilities housing two to 400,000 or more individuals with serious brain illnesses. That is a crime. Well, what can we do to take action? Join our brain campaign and become a brain health advocate. Educate yourself and others and treat people humanely. Consider the bills before legislature and contact your legislators to support the bills you choose. Contact the police academies and insist that all of our responders be trained in de-escalation. Well, that was Linda Stalters. You can learn more at sarda.org.